okay? So get ready, find a comfortable seated position, close your eyes and relax. Just find this moment, just this one moment where you are here. You are here seated on your mat. You are not running around. You are not deciding what you're gonna do. There's no decisions to be made. You only need to follow my instructions, my voice. I'll look at the screen. For the next 20 minutes or half an hour, you don't even need to make any decision. You just need to be with your body and with your breath. So let's take this moment to just check in with the breath. Breathe in. How does it feel? Where do you feel it? and breathe out, letting go. You can let go with a big sigh through your mouth. <sighs> Finding space. Breathe in again. And let go, gently, gently. One last time, this time breathe in and out through your nose. Breathing in, observe the breath. Where do you feel it more prominent? And breathe out through your nose. And open the eyes, open the eyes, and let's do a couple of rolls. So you can come forward and then go back and come forward. And as you inhale, you go back. And as you exhale, you go forward. And as you inhale, back and so forth. One more time. And when you reach forward, we change direction. As we go, inhale and exhale. In and out. Do it at your own rhythm, the rhythm of your own breath. Some people might be slow, some people might be faster. Do not force anything. And next time, this is the last round, next time you find yourself forward, this time stay forward, bring your hands in front of you, and just a little stretch. You can walk with your, you cannot see my fingers, you can walk with your fingers, like the hand from the Adams family, stretching your armpits. And lower your head, relax. You can even say yes, no, moving to one side and to the other, and then come back and let's go to all fours. And you're gonna bring your feet, your toes touching, your uh, knees open, as open as it's comfortable, okay? Don't need to be too open, and slowly, slowly. We're going to come to lie in child pose. And again, this is a great pose to come and rest anytime you feel um, tired or you're pushing too much. In yoga, we don't want you to push or pull. Just go to wherever it's comfortable. Always checking with your breath. If you're breathing too fast, if you're out of breath, it's a sign that you've gone too far. So you can always come and rest in child pose. Also, this is a great posture for your hips to settle, to start opening the groin, the hips, to do first thing in the morning, or if you've been sitting a lot. And with every exhale, just feel yourself sinking into the ground. Now, I want you to look forward, raise your head and open, look at your hands, stretch them far, far forward, okay? Again, without motion, with like, like the fingers walking like little spiders, as far as you can. So your elbows might be off the floor. So you're again stretching the armpits like we did at the beginning, okay? Very good, stretch, stretch. Observe your inner elbows facing each other. 
Now slowly, slowly start lifting your hips, hook your toes, bring your knees underneath your, um, your hips. And you are in a, in a variation of top table with your arm completely stretched and child. And you can start making rotations now with your hips. See how you feel. That doesn't have to look like me can be anything you want it to be. What do you feel like? What does your hip tell you? Your back, so rotating one side, going forward, rotating the other, changing the direction. You perhaps want to be looking to one side, looking the other. Very good. And now come back to this child but stretching the, stretching the arms, hook your toes and slowly, slowly start lifting the knees of the floor all the way, all the way until you get into downward dog, Adho Mukha Svanasana. But this is a variation, so bend your knees as much as you can and lift your heels, Heel, lift your heels off the floor. Hey, hello. So your belly, is in touch with your thighs or close by. Now lower the right heel towards the floor. Breathe in, breathe out, lift the heel again. Now lower the left heel towards the floor. Breathe in, breathe out, lift again and right again, stretching the heel towards the floor up then the left stretching up both high 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 then both low 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 see if we can go down to the floor and now high again bring the knees to the floor come to tabletop and exhale come to child and we're gonna do this as a flow i'm gonna show you the in the breath, the breath that goes with coordinating breath and movement. Inhale, come to tabletop. Tabletop, hook the toes. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale to tabletop again. Lower, you only have to lower the knees. Exhale, child. Inhale, tabletop. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale. Tabletop. Exhale. Hips towards your heels. Inhale. Leave your hips off the floor. Exhale. Come to downward dog. Straightening the legs, the knees. Inhale. Knees to the ground. Exhale. Child. Last time. Inhale. Tabletop. Exhale. Here we are, downward dog. Now walk with your hands towards the top of the mat. Hands come to your feet rather than your feet to your hands. And hang in there for a moment. Hang in there, loose. You can bring the hand to the opposite elbow and bend your knees, bend your knees. Your thighs are making like a little shelf for your, for your body. You can be there comfortable, just allowing the spine to loosen. And now let go of your hands and push your feet against the ground, start rolling up till you come to an upright position. And then as we inhale, hands up, look up. Exhale, hands in front of your chest. Inhale and Arms go up, 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 look up. Exhale, open the arms to the side and bend forward. Inhale, the back is straight. Your hands can be on your shins. Look forward, straight back, opening the chest towards the front of the mat. Exhale, down again, roll up once again. Arms all the way up. Exhale, hands in front of your chest. One more time. Inhale, arms up. Hands go up, opening, opening, you go down, all the way. Inhale, flat back. 
exhale head towards the floor inhale wall up 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 hands up exhale hands in front of your chest inhale hands up open open dive down and this time you're going to walk with your hands towards the front of the mat and we find ourselves in downward dog again this time again lift the heels and roll forwards towards plank exhale back again i'm gonna do this two more times inhale plank exhale inhale lift the heels roll towards the front of the mat exhale back again and this time little steps little steps walk into the front of the mat and see how far can you go in these little steps towards your hands bend your knees and inhaling roll up hands up and then hands in front of your chest how are we doing well done ah take one moment here to breathe perhaps your heart is racing a bit check your posture feet rooting against the ground top of the head wants to touch the sky let your tailbone to soften towards the ground inhale arms up look up look up look up look up exhale forward fold you can open like we did before you can bring the hands forward up to you and here again table flat back again you can have your hands on your shins on your thighs or on the floor or if you have titan blocks you can have them on the blocks if you don't have blocks which is more normal in many houses you can use pillows anything hands on the floor again one big step back and then another and we're back in plank okay from here you have two options you can bring the knees down to the floor actually everybody bring the knees down to the floor if you've done this before you can do it perhaps with the legs straight otherwise knees down now come forward a bit the back is still flat and bend your elbows towards your ribs and come all the way down lovely now from here inhale lift your head shoulders hands of the floor look mommy no hands exhale down inhale up head shoulders hands bring your shoulders towards your lower back you want to open exhale down last time inhale up exhale down now leave the hands there hold your toes come to downward dog From here look between your hands you're going to bring the right foot between your hands and the left knee on the floor again we're sitting a lot so this area here the hip flexor gets shortened and shortened and shortened so we need to do things that are going to help and this is not one of the best so you can keep your hands here you can against grab blocks anything you want or simply put your hands on your thigh I don't want you to force yourself forward come up a bit and use engage your low abdominals stay here and then allow just the weight of your body to drive you forward and gravity let gravity do what they does best pull you down okay now keep the right hand on the right knee and bring the left hand up and you can twist bend towards the left that right I beg your pardon so towards the bent knee if that makes sense yeah you can help but this might be a bit challenging on balance you can keep the hand here you can keep the hand on anything that helps you now bring the left on the thigh and a little twist okay. And again, 
twist this from here again can be challenging and come back forward inhale and as you exhale shift the weight to the back of the room half half splits inhale forward again hands on the floor hook your toes and come up to downward dog we're gonna do the other side bring the left foot in between your hands the right knee is on the floor and once again take it slowly think all the hours we spend sitting not working on this uh, hip flexors area so you can just start up here engage the abdominal muscles so belly button towards the lower back and then slowly slowly just let gravity to drive you to lower you to find space find what's appropriate for you today we're all different and every day is different and once again the right hand goes up and we can bend towards the left or towards the knee that's actually that's bent one more breath you can have the hand on the floor to help you with the balance and inhaling up again now bring the right hand on the left knee and a little twist and come back to the center hands there and downward dog inhale leave your heels come to plank you can see me come to plank once again you can bring the knees down or you can go straight okay if you're going straight it's exactly the same motion first you come forward a bit and then all the way down very good all the way down feet flat on the floor this time bring the hands behind you interlock the fingers inhaling just drive your shoulders up and away from your body and come up exhale down once again inhale up exhale down one last time inhale up stay here for one breath hold it stretch those arms higher 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 and down lovely hands next to you and come to downward dog very good one big step right foot between your hands left foot meets the right and here we are again the front of the mat inhaling flat back exhale lower down inhale come all the way up arms towards the sky exhale hands in front of your chest inhale arms up again and exhale dive forward inhale look forward again you can have the hands wherever it's comfortable for you exhale down one foot two plank chair knees or no knees <laughs> that's the question what would you like to do come forward I'm gonna do with knees this time but it's the same thing forward back is a straight and all the way down this time we do Cobra you can choose Cobra or for those of you that are used perhaps we can do upward dog which you just all the, the, the thighs are off the floor as well otherwise just stay low down in Cobra choose choices it's good to have choices hook your toes and come all the way to downward dog once again look between your hands and that's your aim the left foot comes forward the right foot the heel is on the floor we're going to go for warrior one warrior one we would like it would be great <laughs> if our hips are facing forward our leg the front leg is bent 90 degrees and the back as you can see is on the floor put your weight towards the heel towards the outside edge arms up we're going to do a little variation okay i want you to thumb forward a bit you're not resting on your thigh just bit forward and then as you inhale straighten the leg 
and again inhaling actually inhaling to go up and exhale to go to the downward dog to a warrior one variation see what i'm doing is like a straight line one more time up this time keep the leg straight and we're going to come all the way down to pyramid once again you can have things to prop you up and you don't need to go all the way down you can stay here here make sure that your right hip doesn't come too forward drive it back so your hips are square okay come forward forward and inhaling all the way up and warrior one again the actual warrior one you want to try if you feel brave perhaps we can go for warrior three so lift the back heel bring the hands to your heart the left back heel is lift and a little step and start lifting the back foot square hips and very good come back in a nice gentle step to warrior one hands down on the floor and come to at any point you can rest here or at any point you can come to child remember so perhaps we rest in child before we do the other side how are we doing i cannot see any comments so you can do it later we can have a chat after inhaling come up remember hook your toes come into downward dog look between your hands and that's your aim for the right foot now the left heel is on the floor and slowly slowly we come up again put your weight i mean the back foot a yoga teacher one of my teachers used to say the back foot is the brain of the asana and it's true we put a lot of um, emphasis on the one that's bending but actually put the weight there and you'll see how you alleviate a bit this so hands come up first and then we're gonna do that variation again come forward and up straightening exhaling come forward still feel that connection with the back foot with the back heel and up and again forward and up one last time forward hold it here for a breath feel the connection with the back heel and up again now exhale we're gonna go all the way down a straight leg we're not bending this time and once again you can have things to hold you you can be here you can close a bit the legs as well and pyramid shouldn't be so open see where your hands can go today and once again observe if you're opening if your right hip is going backwards try to bring it forward so both so the hips are square very good next go up again bend the front knee warrior one inhale exhaling hands in front of your chest let's get ready to fly so lift the heel and slowly slowly you can stay here it's not an issue drive with your heel you want the heel to touch the back wall hold it strong like a t and then bend the supporting leg come back nice gentle step warrior one and hands to the floor again and once again you can come and rest in child pose you feel strong you stay in child pose if you want to be there but if you feel strong you can come into downward dog and do a little vinyasa which is come forward down upward dog and here and we all meet in child breathe 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 okay come up come up come up 
warm up. How are we doing? I like to hear how it's how it's going for you. It's going good for me. <laughs> Just stay seated in the hero pose for a second. Close your eyes. Feel the breath. Again, this is a lovely pose to stretch the top of the feet. And now slowly, slowly, we're going to come to lie on our backs. Lie on your back. Knees are still pointing at the ceiling. Feet are hip width apart and hands are alongside your body. And again, we're going to do a couple of bridge pose, just three rounds dynamically. So as we inhale, we you lift the hips up and vertebra by vertebra, you push with your feet up and exhale, you reverse vertebra by vertebra, we go all the way down. Two, inhale up. This inhale, perhaps we can go slightly higher. Feel how your chest is coming to your chin and exhale down. One last time. Inhale, hip goes up, 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 up. This time we're going to hold it here for an extra breath. When you inhale, perhaps you can squeeze a bit more higher and then come down all the way, all the way. Very good. Now bring both feet as wide as the mat, okay? Open your arms like a T. The feet are as wide as the mat. Now you're gonna bend, bring both knees towards the right. And you can look towards the left if you want or not. Up to you, wherever is comfortable for your neck. And inhale, come back up again, both knees pointing at the ceiling. And exhale, both knees point towards the left. And stay there. And again, inhale one more time. Both knees fall to the right. We're going to stay here for now, two breaths. And go up. And calf fall to the left. Two breaths. And again, both knees come up. Once again, bring the feet slightly closer, like hip width apart. Now you're going to bring the right um, ankle on top of the left knee. So like this. So creating a little um, hole in between. Your head is on the floor, shoulders on the floor. Your hand is going to come through this little hole. Bring the left knee towards your chest. And you can grab, you can interlock the fingers and grab behind the thigh and stay here for a moment. The right elbow can be lightly pushing against the right knee, just lightly, whatever you feel you need. Make sure that your shoulders, head is still on the floor and your lower back is still on the floor. Two more breaths. Deep breath not just any breath. Inhaling deeply. And as you exhale, perhaps you bring that knee closer, closer to you. One more. And foot on the floor, left foot and uh, right and now swap the left ankle is on top of the right knee bring the right knee towards your chest you can interlock the fingers behind your thigh or in front of on top of your chin experiment see what feels better every day might be different make sure that this this foot is flexed the left foot and again you can use the left um, elbow to push against the left knee, creating a bit more opening. See what feels good for you today. 
see where you feel, where you have sensations. Your breath. Are you still there? Your mind is floating somewhere else, come back to the breath. And again, let go, right foot is on the floor, left is also on the floor. And bring both knees towards your chest. Lift your head and shoulders, perhaps make yourself into a little ball. Come back down and you can rock a bit from side to side. You can bring the knees towards your armpit, opening the legs a bit. Or you can bring your hands on top of your shin, just opening the legs wide. Or even if you're used to it and you want, you can grab the outside edge of the feet and bring them towards the ceiling for happy baby. Again, different options. See how you feel. And again, rocking side to side. Once again, bring the both knees against your chest. Squish, 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 squish and slowly feet on the ground and stretch the right leg and stretch the left leg towards one corner of the mat the other leg towards the other corner of the mat hands alongside your body around 45 degrees palms facing the ceiling and breathe just allow gravity to get hold of you there's nothing for you to do. Just let go. See if you're holding still any tension anywhere in your body. Maybe in your lips, in your jaw, in your forehead. Just let go. Soften the face, you know, the facial muscles. Stay lying down for one more minute or as long as you want because I said this was going to be a short class and I've gone over a bit. It's now the 30 minutes mark. I'm going to bring everyone up but if you want to stay longer this is the great pose to stay as long as you want. You want to stay five more minutes, ten more minutes, fifteen more minutes. giving a full relaxation to your body and to your mind and fully integrating all the movement we've done. If you want to start getting up, just once again, bring the knees to your chest, slowly roll to one side. Stay in the fetal position for one more breath. And then with the help of your hands, come back up, come back up, push yourself up, come back to that seated position we had at the beginning, any seated position you feel comfortable, spine is straight, erect, top of the head, aiming for the sky. Take a couple of breaths. How do you feel? Where do you feel the breath now? Is it fast? Is it slow? Is it up in the chest? Is it down in your abdomen? Where do you feel it? And if 
you feel it really strongly around your nostrils. Maybe you feel it in the whole body. You feel your whole body's breathing. And bringing the hands in front of your chest, thumbs slightly touching your chest, opening, opening chest forward. Just bow down and be grateful to yourself for having taken the time this morning to be here. Open the eyes, look up again, and thank you.